what's up guys welcome back to my channel i'm angela altieri if this is your first time here and welcome to the video i was i filmed the look i filmed the outro and i was like oh my gosh i have to announce my giveaway i have to have to announce it it's my first makeup video of the new year and i reached 500 subs i think december 23rd so thank you guys so much for getting me to 500 i'm close to 600 now and we have to do this giveaway almost forgot my 500 sub giveaway it's friday right now the 8th but this video will be up on monday probably i think one o'clock this video goes up or two o'clock and by the time this video is live so will the giveaway you have to be subscribed to my channel like this video comment down below and probably a couple other things like follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I'll leave a link to enter the giveaway and like how you get extra entries, all that stuff. It is like a gleam giveaway as I've done for my past giveaways. So yeah, check out the rules. There are multiple ways to get entries, which increase your chances of winning. First up, I have this brand new ABH Nicole Guerrero Glow, glow Kit. Glow, glow, glow Kit. It's brand new. Let's see. Open it up. I don't want to open it too much, but it's brand new. Looks good. Looks like that. Okay, I also have this Pure X Robert e. Christie palette. I want to like softly open it up, you know? So here's what the palette looks like. If you didn't see my video on it, I do have a video reviewing this. Three different looks, colorful side and the neutral side. So one of you got one of these brand new. And uh, finally, one of you will be getting the ColourPop Hocus Pocus Gather Round Sisters palette. All of these palettes um, I have and I use in my collection. This is probably my favorite palette out of everything. I love how whimsical it is, the gimmick of it all, but the shades are really pretty and great, great, great formula. Such a collector's item. I probably will never get rid of this product, even if I stop using it. <laughs> So yeah, there will be three winners. I'm very excited about this giveaway. Again, just follow the instructions down below and make sure you are subscribed because only a subscriber will win the giveaway. And yeah, you'll have one week. So up until January, January 18th. I think that is Monday, January 18th until like midnight probably. In today's video, I'm doing my everyday winter makeup look with an eyeshadow tutorial as a plus because I don't use eyeshadow on an everyday basis, but I did want to do a quick little cool tone eyeshadow look. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please enter the giveaway and keep on subscribing, stay safe, stay positive, and be kind to one another. If you're interested in this video, then you know the deal, you know the drill, you know the vibes. Let's get it, darlings. Okay, so I just put on this color pot, pretty fresh hydrating hyaluronic acid primer. Hello. Um, this smells like. <sighs> if you have this primer, let me know what you think it smells like. It smells like. Like dried pineapple I don't know it there's a scent that it reminds me of but I can't put my finger on it I don't know what it is but I do know what it is but I don't know what it is you know what I'm saying anyways this is very very hydrating I need very hydrating products I like this the Tarte hydrating base tape um, I haven't used Smashbox Primerizer enough to know if I like it a lot, but that's another hydrating primer that I have in my collection that I need to use more. This is just what I've been liking recently. 
Now I'm going in with the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. It has SPF 20. This is the shade MN4. I don't know if, the, if they sell this anymore. I did get this off of Amazon. Um, it's not the most full coverage foundation, but I don't really need very full coverage. I like the doe foot. You know, it reminds me of the Pure where I just swipe it everywhere. Yeah, I don't know how buildable it is. I usually just do this application one time and I, I leave it at that. It does smell though. It's not a pleasant smell. And since I'm lazy, I just use my brush. This is the makeup that I have in a bag on my desk. And I just reach into every time I feel like I want to do my makeup. Or if I'm about to film a sneaker video, this is what I've been diving into. I might switch out some products because I've gotten a lot of new stuff within the past few weeks that I want to try out or just play with. But for the most part, this is what I'm using. Going out with my fave Joseph Colors Concealer, shade 16. There's nothing better than this Joseph Colors. This has just been my go to like full proof, full proof um, concealer. I can always count on it to look amazing. You know what I mean? I have this, oh my god, you see all the marks on it? I have this number 7 Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium. This is supposed to be a dupe. Sorry. <laughs> Flipping you. Off. This is supposed to be a dupe for my all-time fave Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Finishing Powder. This is a little bit cooler in tone, a little bit more neutral, and this is a little bit more yellow banana-y. So the tones are different. It's not like an exact, exact dupe, but it is nice. I've been testing it out to see... How much I really like it. So let's apply that. Like I said, this concealer doesn't really need to be set, but to test out the powder, I've been setting everything. This is just my routine right now. It's always changing depending on my mood, my vibe. Do you see that? Ooh, it's a nice powder though. My only concern for this powder has been it leaving a slightly neutral grayish cast, which I'm still trying to like see if that's what's happening. You know what I mean? Or if my mind is playing tricks on me. So, so far I really like this powder. I think this is like 15 bucks pretty sure I found this, this here I found this at Dwayne Reed slash Walgreens bronzer I have been obsessed with this bronzer this is new to my collection my sister got this for me for Christmas the Nabla skin bronzing powder and soft revenge she watched my video got me a few things um, I absolutely love this bronzer I'm thinking of buying the shade down from this as well there's no kick up here look I don't know if you'll be able to see when you usually tap off your brush you could see some kind of powder come off but that doesn't happen with this bronzer it's so smooth I almost got worried like 
is a new product coming off is a hard pan but this powder is so smooth and seamless like it just makes your skin look naturally bronzed for blush i am loving this milani baked powder blush in petal primavera which is i think one of their newer shades i'm into like the more mauvey cooler tone pinks for blushes right now the Ciate london blush really put me on and oh she's so brainy she's so so pretty and i've been wearing a lot of blush lately Gives a nice glow also to the cheeks. I really want to get, hear me out, I really want to get a new Luminoso because people are saying it's different. The Luminoso I got is a little bit more glittery, but the Luminoso they put out now in like the new updated black packaging is more like the original and more like this formula where it's just a sheen it's not glowy glowy but it is sheeny where well, you can build it up to be glowy but it's mostly mostly a nice sheen it's mostly a nice sheen for the blush there's not really any glitter in it put it on the bridge and I always put it on the tip of my nose what's next all right I actually just got this in the mail this is the I love Sarahi dose of colors highlighter I remember seeing this on sale at Ulta I think the last 21 days of beauty but like not as a beauty sale just you know on the side and I, it was on my favorites list, but I didn't get it. I was like, oh, I don't really need it right now. And then it's now it's completely being discontinued. You can't find it. This right here, I'm about to cut it off. About to, I have a bobby pin. I do. I yeah, this highlighter, this collection is like starting to get completely discontinued. And it made me nervous because I saw this in someone's declutter. I was like, I think it was Laura Lee's. And I was like, that's beautiful it's no longer at ulta i got it off makari for like ten dollars it looks like this this is in the shade soul me soul spelled as in sol which is sun Ooh, it's like like a pinky coppery base champagne reflex ma'am yes please actually what i've been doing lately Bring my face before I put on highlight. This is the Wet n Wild Doomy the Jungle Mist with Bretman Rock. It's just a glowy face mist. And I like that. Similar to the iconic London, you know? You ready? You ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. The thing I really love about this makeup is even though when I first apply my makeup, there are parts like my nose that might look a little bit dry, a little bit sketch, but the longer I wear it, like two, three hours from now, it'll look so settled in and fresh, skin-like, and the dryness, that I am experiencing on my nose will not be as intense. I'm going to put on a lip. I got this Mented Nude Lip Liner in this shade Nude. It's just the same nudes I keep buying. <laughs> Sorry. And this is a black owned beauty brand. I'm putting on the lips now because I don't know about the eyes right now. I mean, I have um, lip balm. It's retractable, by the way. 
have lip balm on underneath this so I made it extra extra creamy I kind of overlined a little bit more than I usually do what's happening my eyes are gonna be cool tone so it's like is this pink gonna work We're going to see. This is Starlight by Lunar Beauty. I should have worn this one. Let's try it out. <laughs> no. No, it's... No. Oh. It smells good, though. yeah why not you know why not i don't need that okay so i'm going to throw on my eyebrows which is just the same as in many of my description boxes lately abh brow definer in dark brown and benefit give me brown in the shade number five just a quick easy eyebrow then i'll do a quick tutorial using this palette, I haven't used it since I've gotten it. <laughs> Sorry, but it is winter and it's the season of the cooler tones. So I'm gonna use this on my eyes and hopefully the lip matches. If not, I'll change the lip. And that's it y'all, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so there's that look. Do the lips match? Mm. Well, we're going to go with it for now. Um, this is my everyday, like, winter makeup look. Everything is staying in this bag. I did use the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Smoke. And for mascara, I've been trying to give out this L'Oreal, I've been trying to give another shot to this L'Oreal telescopic mascara because so, so many people are saying they absolutely love it and I think it's an okay mascara. I'm starting to like it the more I use it because I think it's thickening the formula and there's a lot of separation, a lot of length this gives, but I definitely need volume. So I'm also testing out this Lancome Monsieur Big mascara and yeah my mascara my my eyelashes are um they're there honey they are there so i'm enjoying this little combo today and that's it all of these products live in this makeup bag i close it up and i use it every day that's that that's going to be my everyday makeup with the exception of the eyeshadow i don't always wear eyeshadow um when i do wear like a full eyeshadow look 
I'm more inclined to have to wear eyelashes because I don't have very thick eyelashes and you know thick nice full looking eyelashes really complete a look in my opinion but this mascara combo makes this look decent you know you know what I'm saying so I hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below some new makeup products you got during the holidays what's been your fave I feel like my favorite product I got was the Nabla products I'm really happy about having those yeah thank you guys so much for watching I'm back I'm back baby I'm back okay I have a new series coming to my channel very soon if you like this video hit the like button down below comment subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification if you're feeling froggy as you know we're on the road to 1000 now thank you guys so much for supporting me please enter the giveaway be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification um i will be checking if you're subscribed because it only goes to subscribers to someone who's been supporting this channel and myself if you like me, like this video, share it to a friend, one friend, all your friends, Instagram, Twitter, and like all my social media down below, and like my website down below if you're interested in a jelly treasure box. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.